There are over 360,000 NCAA student athletes. And just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. for playing pro ball one because it's a, a tremendous uh, you know competition level playing in the SEC I think uh, you know it's you know widely known as the best football conference but there's a uh, you know just as good baseball out there and I don't think you're gonna go anywhere in the country to, to prepare yourself any better than you you know you do at UT faith is, is a huge part of my life uh, you know obviously outside of baseball but inside is baseball as well I think uh, you know, there, there's so much pressure and so much adversity that we face as athletes that, um, you know, if you don't have something to keep you grounded, if you don't have, uh, you know, in my case, you don't have Christ to, to, to depend on, to lean on, um, you know, to, to have your strength in Him, uh, it, it would be extremely difficult to, for me especially, to, uh, you know, just deal with the things that come at you each and every day. In praise to you. My time at Tennessee was was extremely instrumental in, in my development, not only as a baseball player, but, but as a person as well. Um, you know, I really felt like when I got to college, it was it was my time to step out and start making my own decisions. Uh, you know, I was I was drawn to you know athletes in action to to you know have an outreach there and and, and have a place to go um, and and continue to be you know drawn and tied into God's word. Um, you know, from from my college time on, that was that was really my time that that I developed. Um, I, I feel as a Christian. Uh, Before was like, hey man, when I get to Pro Bowl, this is it. This is what I've been wanting to do my whole life. And then when I got there, it was like, well, now what? Called it. Hey man, sometimes God is saying, you know what? This is this is not it. You know, this is this is a big part of your life. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing, but you can't have your identity in this. And I think it's important that hopefully you guys, you know, my hope for you guys is that you would find your identity now. Uh, you know, hopefully. You know, some of you guys have relationships with, with Christ, and if you don't, I hope that you, you know, explore that and ultimately end up with that. My outlook changed from from so much baseball to I'm gonna I'm gonna praise and glorify God every day, and really from that time on is is when I kind of took off spiritually. That was his time to mold me, I feel like, into the person that he wanted me to be. Um, he could have let me throw a few more strikes during that time, but um, it's very important that we recognize that people are watching, whether it's your teammates or the fans or the umpires or whoever it is, people are watching. You have Thank you.